Hey everybody, this is Saki Waki from MyHeartCoolStuff.com and you guys are watching my second video blog. If you haven't checked the first one out, I definitely recommend the follow-up videos to the first vlog because I spoke about Kid Robot's Money World, which took place last Thursday, and My Plastic Hearts A Drift Show, which featured the works of Scott Campbell and Leontine Greenberg. So we posted some videos up about that. Um, so, you know, you guys can go read it, give it some love, give it some feedback, whatever the case may be. Uh, the Leontine and Scott um, video was a little bit short, and so I definitely have to be braver and start doing on-the-spot interviews, and it's something that I'll work on, so just putting that out there. Um, this week, there was the Ping Deuce show at the Eloquent Delinquents uh, Gallery, the same place where Money World took place at, and that featured the works of Pond, Sket, uh, Mad, and Mr. Shane Jessup. Uh, the mister was on site, uh, and he actually has some video footage, and I think some pictures from the show. Um, I unfortunately could not make it because my day job team members surprised me and took me out for a night of drinks, and so I didn't want to be rude and just leave them hanging. Um, and then yesterday, the Suck Lord had both a, a, a toy release and beer tasting event at Whole Foods and so we have some pictures of that and hopefully that'll be up this week either today tomorrow or Tuesday hopefully um, I'll start off with um, just some of the things that are making this week pretty cool um, and I'll start off with the t-shirt my mister wore it uh, yesterday um, but I kinda realized that I never shared it with anybody uh, I really, really love it. If you guys don't recognize who it is, it is Ash from Army of Darkness in Lego form, along with his handy chainsaw and shotgun. Uh, if any of you guys like Army of Darkness and want to get your geek on, I got this t-shirt at Forbidden Planet New York, located in Union Square. Um, they have a website, so I'll put that in the blog post so that you guys can check it out. And they have a wide variety of geeky t-shirts uh, that cost $18. They all cost $18. But right now they have a sale that I believe is going through uh, Christmas. And it's two for $30. And so that basically knocks $3 off. Um, you know, maybe a his and hers t-shirt you can get. They have both male and female styles. This shirt unfortunately only came in men's styles. So women if you don't mind a male cut you can get it in a small or medium and it's a heavy weight cotton t-shirt but it's really cool and come on he looks really cute and adorable um but <laughs> that kind of leads me into my holiday conversation uh for any of you who tuned into iheart last year um you would have noticed that I had a weekly holiday giveaway. Um, mostly that was because I realized that the economic situation was not getting any better and people were not really spending frivolously and they really couldn't justify spending their money on toys or t-shirts or wallets and just geeky stuff that makes them happy. Uh, so partly I, I got my first sponsor to give away which was the Mimo Bot. Uh, friends with you flash drive and then other stuff either I had gotten it just as a surprise or I got discounts on stuff and so I gave away a gift um, every week of December I want to do that again the economic situation got worse I myself got laid off and so I really want to put some smiles on people's faces so if there are any artists or toy shops or company owners, t-shirt designers, whatever the case may be, email me at Saki, S-A-K-I, at iheartcoolstuff.com and we can talk about how to do a giveaway sponsorship and if maybe some of my readers could do something for you and whatever the case may be. Basically, it's about making people happy during the holidays, so uh, let's team up. Uh, also, I'm finally getting to the Fairy Tale Fights video game. This is actually the press kit that I received from PlayLogic. Um, if you guys tuned in during Anime Fest, you probably checked out the video where we had the interview with one of the 
uh, game developers, and uh, they sent us um, the press kit, which was this. It arrived to my house, and I was really confused because it looks like a hardcover leather bound book. Uh, the inside, it's a really cool press kit, by the way, but it is my very first video game press kit, so who knows, maybe I was just excited in general about receiving my first video game press kit but it came with some sugar disc treats and if you know nothing about the game it's basically it follows four characters um R little red riding hood snow white jack and jack from jack and a beanstalk and the naked emperor who's i always forget the name to this fairy tale it might be the name to it but uh the each disc each sugar disc features one of the characters in the show in the video game and basically they're so tired of being neglected that they go on a killing spree and start killing the village people so it's pretty violent and gory in a very cute and adorable kind of way I'll show you the cards that's Jack that's Snow White the Naked Emperor and Little Red Riding Hood All right, um, it also came with a poster that I really need to, um, you know, straighten up a little bit and hang it up. And it also came with a press kit disc, which I looked through already, and it has a lot about the character design and pictures from the characters and just the levels and some of the, you know, just game data, all that stuff. Um, this isn't a coloring book, but it just has more pictures from the book. So we're definitely, I still don't know whether we're doing a podcast or a video cast or what we're going to do, but we're finally going to get to that review, so look for that, hopefully by the end of this week. And then some of my excitement for this week has a lot to do with the sequel to this game. Left 4 Dead, I will say it right now, changed my whole gaming experience. Before Left 4 Dead, um... I did like first person shooters, but the problem was I get very, very competitive. And so since I'm not an expert, I get very frustrated and belligerent and I just choose not to play. Left 4 Dead kind of changed that. <laughs> um, I just, I stuck to it. I learned the controls and then I got very addicted to shooting zombies. Um, and so this week was the release of Left 4 Dead 2, which is awesome. It's better than the first, I would say. Um, they fixed a lot of the kinks that the first one had, but they also made it a little bit more challenging. And I'm actually going to play some right now with Scooter and Jinx, um, and I'll talk about that in a second. But uh, that way you get to see some of the video footage. Um, one of the things, or I'll talk about some of the changes. Uh, one, the headshots are a little bit more gratifying but less gratifying still than the Call of Duty Zombies levels because there's just a crack to to when I shoot have headshots in Call of Duty that I still don't get from Left 4 Dead but similar to Dead Rising you can now pick up different melee weapons and um, not not as many as Dead Rising though but uh, uh, I've learned that I really love the katana I seriously whenever a horde comes through I like jump in there and normally it kind of you know hide and let my team die <laughs> uh, but I actually stood awake yesterday with the Mr. Shamu from California and Yo-Yo from Florida and we stood up until 5.30 a.m. playing so I really love it I'm about to hop on board with Scooter and Jinx which brings me to the last thing I received it was the Sarcastic Gamer Community Charity Effort if you guys remember uh, in October we had we participated in a 24 hour video game marathon Here's the back of the t-shirt. And basically, it was to fundraise money for the Texas Children's Hospital. Um, they have a very good pediatric care, specifically with like pediatric cancer center. And so um, the website, I think we fundraised like $280 or so. Um, and I believe that if you fundraised over 192 they sent you a t-shirt. And it fits, and it looks great. It's navy blue. Yay! But I mentioned hopping on board with Scooter and Jinx because they're doing their own 24-hour video game marathon today. They started today at noon, and so I'm about to hop on and play some Left 4 Dead. So, yeah, thanks for tuning in, you guys. See ya.